Hey YouTube, today we're going to be talking about um, Durex Boot and Nuke in zero level formatting. So let's start by turning our computer on and popping in our boot CD. Now if we come down and I think this one is escape So there we go. It's brought up our boot menu as we talk about we've talked about in other videos and we hit up in the corner there boot CD-ROM. So now you can see it's booting from the CD-ROM and it brings up the ultimate boot CD menu. So if we go to HDD and we go down to disk wiping and we go down to Durex boot and nuke there you go it's gonna give you a boot menu you just hit enter and it'll load it in the standard options all the magical stuff for booting blah 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 All right, so it loads us into the console, and I guess I had a USB device or something, and that's what that unrecognized device is, but I don't feel like restarted the whole computer just to pull it out. So it up here is what it's going to talk about it is the options, and never really need to worry about this. Now the stuff below is what you do. This here basically... The P, the PRNG is basically how it checks to make sure your data has been wiped. The method of how it's going to wipe your data. I'm sorry, that's something else. The, um, yeah, These two deal with other stuff. I'm getting this confused. Your method is basically how it wipes how it wipes the data and the intensity of the data wiping the verify basically when it check oh it, yeah that's right this is how it checks this is when it checks so when it finishes and this is how many times it runs the process so well so he so as you can see at the bottom it gives you ways to change it so if we hit P it talks about it and talks about the actual method that it's using. If we hit M, it talks about, oh, I shouldn't say maybe method, but the way it's going to wipe. And you will also see different versions, and you can see the passes change. Now remember zero level formatting which we're going to do takes a very very long time and while this is running we're going to explain exactly what zero level formatting is. But I always found this one right here that with eight passes seems to be adequate enough so we're going to select that. If you hit V for verify it'll give you op verify options. I always find that verify last pass is good and obviously it'll give you R for rounds and I think one round is good enough and then it tells you. 
So if you wanted to do multiple drives or had multiple hard drives, you could do or you could select them. But I would just want to do this one, so I'm going to hit the space bar and it says wipe. So that's how I know it's going to wipe. And I'm going to hit F10 to start as it says. And there you go. The percentage, the round, the pass, writing and it's verifying. And in a little bit it'll this number takes a while I would say at least you have to wait until at least about 10-20% before this number actually gets quote unquote accurate. But here it gives you all the data, the time running, the time remaining, you know, the throughput speed and so on and so forth and what you selected. And then it gives you how it currently is. Now the other thing is with this eight uh, pa this eight pass method which we're using, it's about just to give you a general idea. It's about twenty four. It's about twenty four hours or a day for every two hundred and fifty gigs. Now while this is running, how about we explain exactly what z the difference between quick formatting, zero level formatting, and regular formatting. Now with quick formatting, what it does is it basically goes in to where all the files are cataloged and just wipes that. And that takes, I guess that's also, you could call it the metadata or some, I think it's depending on the draw, depending on the type of drive, it's, you know, track zero or the yeah track zero metadata so on and so forth and that so it basically keeps the record it keeps the record of what files are on the drive or in that particular partition with regular formatting it not only wipes the data it actually physically wipes the data off but it can write new file systems such as fats and ntsf and Linux partitions and zero level formatting well what it does is it not only takes the remaining data and scrambles it but it scrambles the data <clears throat> so well, I should start out by saying it first scrambles the data, and that's kind of what I believe a pass is, and then it overwrites, and it overwrites, and then scrambles the data again, and then overwrites, and so on and so forth. So, yep, that's basically it. So reg your regular format just wipes out your, uh, z you know track zero or metadata or whatever so there's no record of the files but the files are still technically there <clears throat> regular formatting just wipes the data out and also the f uh, file system but not the actual part the structure of the partition which allows you to write uh, new file systems and zero level formatting just wipe you know scrambles the data wipes it out scrambles it again wipes it out and it not only does it uh, scrambles and wipes and uses the algorithm yes and uses the different method or algorithm there's a fun one to do it so yep that's zero level formatting for you. Bye.